today is a cold uh, a wintery day and I have my uh, wintery warm nice and fuzzy sweater on and I want to share with you uh, a, a very nice hot um, sort of a spicy butternut squash um, soup with you. We don't have that many ingredients for this soup. It's very easy. You can also make it in a stove cooker, but I'm going to show you how to make it on a stove top today. Uh, I have prepared uh, one medium butternut squash and I've cut them into cubes. You can also buy them um, in packages already cut. Uh, which makes your life a little bit easier because butternut squash is very hard to cut. Uh, I have one medium onion uh, here diced and four cloves of garlic minced. I'm going to saute these two together and then we can add um, sort of the rest of our ingredients to it but I'm going to show you step by, by step how to do it. Uh, also we need vegetable broth. We need um, red curry, um, Thai style red curry sauce which I buy from Trader Joe's. You need coconut milk, sriracha, if you want to make it, make it spicier, lime, ginger, salt and pepper, and a few other um, spices. But let's go and see how we're going to make this lovely, uh, cozy soup. The onion with the garlic. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the Thai curry sauce to it. And our grated ginger. I love ginger, so I actually tend to put a little bit more ginger in my soup. So we're going to let this cook for uh, three minutes and then I'm going to add the butternut squash. Smell this combo. The ginger smells amazing. Now this is ready. I'm going to add my cube butternut squash to it. And then we will add our vegetable broth and cook the butternut squash. Add some salt and pepper to taste. I need more broth, which I have to add. Then this is almost done. And I will be back to show you what else we add to make it even tastier. soup is blended by, uh, but I still have some pieces in there. Now at this point, um, uh, I have it on low. Uh, we are going to add our coconut milk. Um, I have a low fat coconut milk today, but if you put a full fat coconut milk, obviously it will taste better and it will be more creamier. Mm. So there we go. And I would uh, let this uh, actually cook for another five, 10 minutes. And also we will add a little bit of lime juice to it. And when this is uh, a little bit, uh, gotten a little bit thicker, we'll be back to serve it and garnish it. Our beautiful butternut squash soup is ready. I've garnished it with some chopped cilantro and a coconut milk and chopped peanuts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Nusha John and bon appetit.